Dun, 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 dun. Hey everybody, are you ready for some hurricanes? Category five. Are you ready for some Korean nuclear war? No. Get ready for some football, aren't we? I think we are. It's the seventh. It's Thursday. There's a game tonight. It's the Pats and the Chiefs. Week one is on the run, and we have the NFL Survivor Pool Scrap. Ready to go, week one. This is a free file. You can have it. You can run your survivor pool with it. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. And it's going to help you pick some winners. So, what's the story? Let's look at week one. Let's do our dive into week one right now. So, there's been a postponement of the Tampa Bay and Miami game. It's going to week 11. I've updated the schedule in here. So, you've only got 15 games to choose from here in week one. Who would you go with? The file says, based on 2016 stats, because we're still using last year's stats right now, says Pittsburgh. It's Pittsburgh over Cleveland. I don't love that game because Cleveland won all four preseason games. Maybe they're a team this year. Big Ben is still half asleep on a motorcycle at this point in the season. He's feeling the summer pain. So I, I, I just, you never know. Pittsburgh goes like 0-2 half the time for no reason. So even though this is what the file says, I'm going to stay away from this game because that's my funny business game of the day. That's the one I'd stay away from, actually. What do I like? Love Atlanta. Love Atlanta over Chicago. Chicago has a history of sucking. And I think Atlanta's going to put up some points. So... I like them. I like Buffalo over the Jets. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the Giants and Cowboys with Elliott. I believe he's out. Uh, Denver over the Chargers. Love that game also. Uh, Denver at home, sure. Mile high, definitely. Then you got some toss-up games here. Detroit and Arizona, Green Bay, Seattle. Files not going hard one way or the other. Uh, Houston over Jacksonville, I guess. I mean... I guess, but you never know. Those teams. Indianapolis over LA, that also seems to, to be solid. I guess maybe luck, luck will come to play. And the Rams have just been offensively just yuck for last year. So I think that, that I do like Indianapolis, that they're a the reason why they're probably the second or third highest favorite in the fall this uh, this week. And then there's the Patriots. Um, does, does that kind of seem like the Patriots would run 24 10 over the Chiefs on Thursday night? They're almost good every time for it. So. That's what I like. I don't, I, I, for some reason, this Carolina heavily favored over the Niners. We don't have any Kaepernick to deal with anymore over there. I don't know. I kind of want to watch this game too. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'd say Atlanta is really my lock of this week, and that, that's who I would go with uh, here in the Survivor Pool in round one. So this is what our look at week one is. How does this file work? In case you're seeing this for the first time and you want to run your own pool. Well, a few different sheets in here. The pick sheet, if you were to send this file out to entrants who are going to be in your pool, uh, you'd have them fill this out for the entire season. Or what a lot of people do often, instead of doing all weeks at once, is they do one week at a time. A lot of people do that. So let me kind of show you how that works. You're going to want to work within the entrance pool sheet. The entrance pool sheet is going to have all your entrants and all their picks. So let's say that entry number one is Ken. And maybe entry number two is you. And for week one, I like Atlanta. And maybe you don't like Atlanta. Maybe you like Chicago. Maybe you are having a deep dish pizza right now, and you're 412 pounds, and you live on the south side of Chicago, and you like the Bears. You could choose them. So we would have our picks for week one, then you can add different entrants down below. You can have her. You can have him. And you can have them. You can do as many people as you want. And you can fill out their picks for week one. All right? Put it on here. So now once you have their picks, what's she gonna choose? Who does she like? She likes she likes Bengals. She's a tiger woman. Okay. So once you've picked, over here on the right hand side is a pivot table that's gonna keep track of all the stats and who's won and who's lost. Right now it's saying everybody lost. When you right click and refresh this, right click, refresh to always update this table. It says everybody's a loser. The reason it says everybody's a loser, um, you, you would highlight all your entrants that you have here just to look at them. You can hold down the mouse and highlight them in this slicer here. These are all the people. It looks like everybody lost in week one. That's because we haven't put in the final results for week one yet. So as the games get played, let's say that the Patriots do win 24 to 20. 
And let's assume that everybody in week one, that every away team loses 24 to 20. So we have full results in for the first one. This is where I'll be doing this on my own and sending out updated files to people that are subscribing. But if you're using just this free file and you're running the whole tournament for your whole season, you are going to need to put the final scores in this sheet. In the data sheet. That's all you're really going to need to do, though. So once you put that in there, you go back to the entrance pool sheet and you right click and you refresh and it starts to tell you who's won, who has lost. The winners were you, him, and her, and them, and the loser was Ken and him. And really, this is just week one that we're on, so you can see who the winners and losers were. So if you were in a single elimination survivor pool, only these three people would be left. Uh, but if, you, if you're doing like who has the most wins throughout the season, then you know everyone keep going, keep playing, right? So that's basically all you need to do. And then as week two comes around, you say, all right, well, what you know, you're on the text message or the email or the telephone, or maybe you, you have quantum entanglement with your entrance and you just know what they pick instantly when they choose it in their mind. Either way, when you put them in here, uh, they're going to be able to you're gonna be able to fill in what their subsequent weeks picks are. If you have them accidentally choose the same team twice, it shows up in pink, not allowed. So it will cue you to tell them you got to pick a different team because only one team, one time throughout the season is all you're allowed to use for a win. So uh, that being said, uh, there will be a new file next week before Wednesday the 13th, 14th, right? Wednesday the 14th, before the, right around the 13th Tuesday. I'll, I'll be getting the new file out for the new week for those who are subscribing and have the new picks for the new week. We got to get 75% right. If I don't get 75% right, then everybody gets their money back. It's, it's five dollars a week for the file, 50 for the season. And if I don't do three out of four right or better, then, well, then everybody wins their money back. That's the way I look at it. So that's my guarantee. And if you have any questions, let me know. Email me, Ken, at kenstock.com or go to kenbraverman.com to get copies of the file and see the current updated videos or subscribe to this YouTube channel. That'll help as well. And good luck. Dodge the rain. Dodge the nukes. Dodge the fires. God, what, I thought 2016 was a bad year. Um, dodge all that, and let's relax and watch Tom Brady do something magical, as he always does. So good luck and happy NFL.